Are you sick and tired of making burgers that come out like this? Well, now you don't have to. Introducing the Cuisinart 3-in-1 Burger Press. Welcome to the channel, I am the Fire Escape Griller, and today I want to talk about a gadget that I recently picked up on Amazon for about $7, and it is the Cuisinart 3-in-1 Burger Press. It's kind of a cool little gadget, and you might want to pick one up, so I'm going to review it, I'm going to show you how it works. So without further ado, let's get this review underway. So here we have six parts. This is the base cup, and the release plate goes into the bottom of the base cup. This is the press top, and what they call the press cap attaches to the press cup, and they fit nicely into the base. And this is the smaller cup for making sliders, and it fits right under the handle for easy storage. And it's constructed of dishwasher safe plastic. Now let's make some burgers. First we remove the press top, grab a handful of burger meat and place it into the base and then press down with the press top. I should also mention that it has a non-stick coating, but if you're finding that your burger meat is sticking, you could always spray the base with Pam or some oil beforehand. Next thing we're gonna do is make a slider. So we take out our little slider part, place in some ground meat, and press. There we have a beautiful little slider. And now for the stuffed burger. You want to take about half to two thirds of the meat to make a normal burger and press that down. Then remove the press cap revealing the smaller press and press down again. And what you'll get is this nice little indentation where you can put any sort of stuffing that you like. And what I happen to like today is some blue cheese. I just cut up some pieces of blue cheese and I'm going to put them inside the burger just like so. And then take a little bit of burger meat and place it right on top. And then Put your presser back together and press it down. And here you have a lovely stuffed burger. That's kind of cool. A little salt, pepper, and olive oil, and we'll be ready for the grill. Out here I've got the Weber Q preheated, and I'm gonna grill over medium heat three to four minutes per side for the large burgers, and two to three minutes per side for the slider. And of course, I always grill with the lid down. And here we are a few minutes in, and I'm gonna add a little cheddar cheese to the slider. Now the slider is inside, and how about a slice of mozzarella for the regular burger? Close the lid for another minute or so. And here we have our three lovely burgers you can see some of that blue cheese has escaped the side of that stuffed burger, but that's probably my fault. I'm still getting used to this thing. And here is the inside of that stuffed blue cheese burger. So those are my thoughts on the Cuisinart 3-in-1 Burger Press. I've never really used a burger press before, and I gotta tell you, it's kind of fun. So for $7, you really can't go wrong. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, Keep on grilling. Now you can make burgalicious burgers every time. 